Hey y'all, this is Mark of Mark's Adventure Club and I am on my maiden voyage in my Ford Econoline camper van that I recently completed all the major work. Now it's down to minor details, adjustments and things like that. I am in the Shenandoah Valley, um, actually real close to Skyline Drive. I'm gonna be fishing in the Shenandoah River for the next couple days. I'm also camped right on a creek that is a wild trout stream. However, the water is really low and super clear, so I'm not expecting to catch much in the creek. We'll see about that. I am going to check it out later after I do this video for you. So, here I am. Finally, a year and a half after I bought this van, uh, because of a surgery that kept me out of kept me from working on it and uh, other things that had to be done of course <laughs> it just took this long and I took my time I tried to do everything as well as I could uh, I want to turn the camera around in a second here and just do a quick walkthrough of the camper if you haven't checked out my channel before Mark's Adventure Club I've got all the videos showing an empty hull inside this what used to be a cargo van that I bought with a, what I call a minimal camper belt in it. It had the fans on the roof, it had the siding, it had flooring, it had a water pump and a, a, a water tank and a sprayer just sitting basically. It had a battery and an inverter and a 12 volt panel, LED lights, but I had to rip all that out anyway. So I started from, pretty much started from scratch. I had to take down half the paneling to do all the wiring and everything. I had to take out the floor to change body mounts because the body mounts in the Econo lines go top down through the floor. Uh, the bolts do, anyway. Um, anyway, you can go back, check out the step-by-step -step every every bit of the way, and uh, I hope you do, especially if you've got a van or are interested in a van camper or any kind of camper for that matter because what I did in this you can do in something different. You could buy an old ambulance with a cutaway on it, you know, and turn that into a camper. You could turn a bus into a camper. You can turn anything into a camper, I guess. Anyway, let me turn this around and I'll do a quick walkthrough with you. So there's a nice view of the creek from my campsite. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and just keep it on the little tiny selfie tripod. Uh, let me get to where the sun's not in my eyes, but there's there's the creek. Uh, that's pretty. I got a nice creek sound. Unfortunately, uh, there's the highway back there through the trees. And that's a four-lane highway. Two lanes going each way. And it's a major connecting road here. And 55 mile an hour on there. So I'm um, going to have some road noise while I'm here. That's kind of a downside, but let's take a look at the camper. So things I've done that you wouldn't see in the video, I've got these cargo bags, got towels and things in this one. This one also has bath towels, bug spray and sunscreen. Uh, this is more like cooking stuff up here. I've got stuff in the doors. I haven't done anything with the doors yet. So those are my jumper cables over here. I got a first aid kit, a snow brush, ice scraper, uh, water. Y'all have seen this before. My water heater and sink are right here. Rods coming through rod holders back in there. Uh, let me turn the lights on in here so you can see what's going on. As well as open up the back door. That'll help, also help get some air in here. And this is what it looks like packed for uh, a fall trip. Got a bin here that's got my waders in it, bait bucket, uh, my Porta John right here, <laughs> double bagged kitty litter in the bottom. So if I need to use that, like in the middle of the night, I don't have to get up and walk over to the bathroom, which isn't too far away. Uh, bed over on this side. Fold it up. I got a pillow. Uh, that that second one had the sheets in it, which are now on the bed. And there's a army poncho liner, which makes a great lightweight blanket. 
and then I've got tackle bag, uh, assorted gear, clothing, sleeping bag just in case it gets cold. That'll be an extra blanket, basically. Got all my gone fishing. Got to find a better spot for that. But <laughs> that's my thing. Uh, up top, cargo rack. Got my. Let me jump up there. Show you. Uh, that is my table right there, which I did a review on Amazon on this. They said it was like five by seven. No, it's more like five by ten because they didn't. I don't know how they measured it, but anyway, chair, shovel right there. I'm using some of these adjustable, uh, not adjustable, but these kind of wire tie, rubbery things, and then ratchet straps for the highway. And this one, everything stayed nice and tight, so I'm used to using ratchet straps to load stuff inside of uh, regular trucks. And then I've got just a bicycle chain lock run through what I can run it through up there just to deter just to deter any would-be thieves from climbing up there and trying to undo it. If they see the lock, maybe they'll just go, oh, it's not worth it. Uh, we are actually, I'll leave that open. I'm not really seeing any bugs out here right now, so let's get some air. And here we are. You've seen the inside before. There's my refrigerator. It's stocked full of everything you possibly want. And I got a little bottle of champagne for the maiden voyage. Oh, that fell into there and it did not leak. That's great. Okay, good to know. Uh, but I've got food and beverages to last me three days. I've got the drawers over here. This one's also packed with goodies. I do have this major main drawer right here, which right now has nothing in it. I'm so used to using this uh, this bag for my um, fishing trips, you know, in the camper. Uh, even though it's only about half full, it's everything's in there. I'm most of the clothing in there would probably fit in this drawer, but I got other things. I got you know my medications and my I call it the pharmacy just a collection of all kinds of things I might need. Stoves in here. Up here we got electrical cords, which I'm gonna drag out in a minute. So I might as well put that open. Rain gear. Uh, in case I need to use the, oh, let's see, come on. In case I need to use the uh, port john I got the big, I got the major wipes there can take a bath with those literally my grill uh, with the new 20 foot cord because the 12 foot cord I had bought even though I had measured it several times wasn't gonna work I did not allow for the fact that the uh, the regulator by the way this is electrical cords electrical I'm gonna need that and that to hook this thing up now, this is, again, maiden voyage, so I'm just, just gonna be experimenting and learning here. Excuse me, I got a fussy catch. Doesn't wanna catch, there it goes. Okay, so I did add a rod holder that the guy I bought this from had this rod holder in here. And I wasn't gonna use it because I thought that the rods would fall out, but I didn't realize that these things turned to lock them in. So I got it up here with my shorter six foot and shorter rods, even though I got room for a six foot rod over there still. Uh, I got three of my longer rods up here. These are uh, 11, 11 and a half foot and a nine footer, I believe, up there. Again, sleeping bag in case I need it. I got PV array here. That's a hundred watt of solar and of course there's my TV and I did check it out got my laptop got the uh, the external hard drive five terabyte hard drive loaded down with all kinds of movies and stuff to watch uh, but I do need the laptop to do it 
So that's no problem. I can also work on my videos when I'm not not actually doing anything. And there we are. And again, this is a four-wheel drive. Got the manual hubs, which I checked them out the other day to make sure because they hadn't been tested in a year and a half, probably. Anyway, let me come back come back to y'all and uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, Mark's Adventure Club. Please feel free to subscribe. You can hit the like button if you really like it. I don't care about that so much. I'm not here to make money. I want to say again, I say this every time, I'm not an expert. What I show you on this channel is what I do, how I do it. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of these trips. This is a three-day trip, maiden voyage again. And um, uh, keep tuning in. I've been getting some good questions from people, and I, I like that. I like it when people are paying attention to, know, to the point where they have a question. Please feel free to ask questions. You know, why, why is this like that? Or you could have done it that way, whatever. Uh, one thing I showed you up top was the table. I decided not to go with the table that was going to fold out and, and attach in the door and everything. It just wasn't working out well in, in my plans. So for now, I'm going to sign off and uh, get some lunch, and then I'm going to go explore the creek here with my micro light and see if I can scare up a wild trout. Anyway, I'll see you down the road.